Hi, welcome to part 9 of this video series about the PolyEd tool in modeling mode in UE 5.1. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, a feature we added in 5.1 uh, which is this extra corners functionality at the bottom of the panel. And this is actually enabled by default. I disabled it so I can explain what it does because sometimes you're going to need to understand it. So uh, prior to 5.1 if you made to simple two triangle plane uh, and then tried to use our uh, tools on it in polyed you know you could select the face and do face stuff but if you tried to select the edges the edge you would find that you can't select the four separate edges you can only select this continuous loop and if you try to do vertex selection there are no vertices to select uh, and so why is that because there's clearly you know visible like corners here so I'll explain it uh, by jumping over to this more complex shape, right? Because part of the idea with polygroups is you can use the same techniques on curved complex shapes as you can on simple shapes. So um, if we jump into face mode here, this you know sphere has some polygroups defined, this kind of arbitrary grouping of triangles with interiors. Uh, and basically the the polygroup edges are not the mesh edges; they're the they're the boundaries of those regions of triangles. So here, you know, there's one region and then there's a neighboring region enclosing it, so there's a single boundary in between them. And so if we jump to the other side here, there's two regions on this side and then closing out a region. And so uh, there's three edges. There's a one, two, and oh, let's turn off face, and this third edge in the middle. And there's vertices, but only at the places where there's junctions between three groups. So when when two polygroup faces meet, they make a polygroup edge. Uh, and when three or more meet, they make a polygroup vertex. And this works uh, in a lot of cases. It, it feel, makes everything feel really kind of natural and similar to, to polygon modeling. But in these kind of simple cases, it can do some weird stuff. So that's why uh, on this quad here, there's no vertices because there's no neighbors so we don't this vertex here in the corner isn't special we don't consider that it looks like a sharp corner it's exactly the same as if uh, it was a circle basically where you wouldn't have corners essentially um, and this leads to some really weird behaviors uh, or unexpected behaviors like on this uh, three by three plane you know I can select all these interior edges it totally makes sense but at the four corner sections, I'm, I get these two edges because, of course, there's no there's no bordering faces next to them. Um, and if I do vertices, I can't select that vertex, but I can select this vertex. So it feels broken. And so what we did in uh, 5.1 is we added a sort of geometric detection of these edges. So if add extra corners is on, which is the default, um, and by default it'll generate them when you start, so I just click this button to regenerate them. And now you see that I got vertices at those corners, even though there's no adjacent groups. Um, and if I turn edges back on, I can select those edges. And so, and then that, uh, that'll work properly on this uh, sort of s single quad, so just like you'd expect, I can select those edges. So this is on by default. The, the main thing you need to know about is that there's this sort of geometric threshold. We use a sort of angle in the face of the plane of the polygroup face. So if I go over here to um, this sphere now, I've got some corners, but they're not everywhere because they're only at places where the sort of opening angle is 135 degrees. And if I turn this down, you know, now I set it too low, I don't get any. If I set it up really high, 180 I basically get one at every vertex. Uh, the default 135 we feel like it works pretty well for planar faces. Uh, but this can come up in uh, different scenarios where you're doing shape editing and sometimes you'll find that there's kind of like extra corners in unexpected places after you do an operation. That's because of this uh, regenerate extra corners functionality. So you can always toggle it off and click regenerate uh, if you decide you um, want to not have those extra corners and that will come up in the next video.